Hello and welcome to this uh, today's Call of Duty game. Obviously, well, as you can see, it's once more a 5KT. I I almost fucked it up again. A 5K 10 PT game, and uh, pretty classic of Call of it as always. He isn't very creative, you know, so that's a slight is issue with him. But uh, it's quite okay. The setting isn't too bad. And uh, it's going to be quite some fun. It's Call of Fit, Falk and Fury and me against Aristotle, I am insane, Arti and Musketeers. I guess we got some enemies ahead of us. At least I know that Aristotle can be quite difficult to beat. And also know that Furio is quite a good player, so it might be a little bit unbalanced right here. But uh, I'm sure we can that this will be fixed in some way. I'm not sure what way just now, but in some way. And that's all I can say so far because in, during the peace time there's not, not a lot going on. Anyway, on our side we've got in England with Call of It as usual. Then we've got the Netherlands with Falk. So I guess uh, that we can smoke weed every day because Enfurio is also in Netherlands. That'll be enough weed for weeks. But anyway, I'm classic Scotland, so our victory should be sure. Or defeat, but I don't know yet.
And apparently Falk wants to rush, but it's this uh, unfortunate that I never rush. I always have to take my time to get my upgrades done. Otherwise I'm just not of any use. <laughs> Which isn't really the target in a piece in a team game. Usually, you want to be as useful as you can. Well, I think that's obvious anyway, so I don't really know why I just said that. Being obvious is obviously Koloth's job. Because that's just how things are rolling. And apparently Falk is not u using any formation. I don't even know why I'm even supporting him then. Because that's just hideous. Apparently the enemy is trying to raid me with some archers. Luckily I've got my Scottish peasants out of the mine, so I haven't gotten any dangers. Or any damages. All I do have is to repair the mine. Sometimes you just gotta pull this a straight line to for, for, for people to follow, otherwise you just cannot get them into your direction. So do I. Having to advise Falk to make formations with some with some slight pressure.
And on the right side, we apparently have the uh, the death of musketeers closing in soon. With this army being completely disorganized, and apparently both Call of It and Furio having the two rates of fire, which are essential. In basically any game, actually. Without the rate of fire, you cannot shoot enough to, to, to keep the enemy suppressed. Firepower is nice, but you need a fire rate, otherwise it just won't be competitive. I have seen quite a few Dragoons and Siege Cossacks moving up to the right side from the left side starting. I doubt that this will stay the problem though. Except if Emfurio does not deal with this little Archer raid. Which Colorful is actually dealing with. And all in other in another perspective than with me, this raid actually had some success burning down one coal mine. You cannot really call this success, but it's something. And uh, this something is a bit too much, actually. Apparently Enfurio is thinking that we are needing help over here. We don't need actually help. We are just sitting here with our men facing off against the heel of the enemy. Who is actually um, reinforcing the hill with, with more men, but uh, if they were charged down I don't think they would be very successful with that. Since we will be on the defense and musketeers stand their ground, or actually musketeers just, they just stand around and shoot from that position, are actually shooting in a, in a longer range than normal musketeers. So that's what we are counting on.
big face of the, on the right flank. But they would just judge and they would probably even win, but why risking it? Apparently Infurio is going in, in a suicidal manner. That was a very dumb move of him. You surely lost 120 musketeers there. At this moment, it's pretty much a stalemate on both sides. Never mind, apparently, Color is planning to go. I don't know if that would be very advantageous for him since the entire cavalry force of Insane has assembled there. Tons of Hussars. Apparently Archie was freezing and has just unfrozen. Now the game run, runs very very slowly. At least for me. Probably for everyone else as well. And a great battle is happening. Well, yeah, it is kind of great, I think. It looks like it's going to be an absolute massacre for Call of Red and Furio, actually. But it's, we'll see. It's definitely a ton of green fodder right there. And a ton of orange shusas, which, is just, uh, which are basically just running through the lines. In a cheesy old tactic. It's classic. 
used to be effective, more effective earlier though, when they haven't really had collision boxes. But it looks like this is going to be a smash fest. So we are now being told to advance and I'm at attacking the forces of I am insane. But the uh, Fark is just running next to me. Never mind, now he's going in. Arguably way too late, but uh, I'm sure we can fix this still. She is just want to attack these musketeers on the left. And I don't want them to, I want them to assault the big blob in the middle. Anyway, it was uh, quite successful, even though it wasn't really supposed to be like that. But my forces are advancing. And no mine explosion will stop us. Because we're Scottish, we don't really care about such things. And houses, this tactic is so old, it doesn't work on me. For some reason my men are just going all in, even though I told them to stand their ground. And I cannot control them for some reason. I think I found another glitch. At least I can still use my archers for my fully extent.
The enemy is charging my Scottish lines. Rather ineffective since they are quite disorganized. And once more, and what's more, my men broke the line. I told them to, to stay in the line and they did just break it. So I did only order the archers to do something else. Apparently I'm I'm, uh, I'm spotting quite a few bugs today. I doubt that they will fix it anytime soon though. Once more, my men broke, just broke the line. I did only told them the archers to do something. It's getting quite annoying. Apparently there's another military maneuver from Enfurio and Colorfield going on. This might be interesting, but I'm actually quite busy as well. But I think I can spare some time for that. The enemies are falling back from the side of the glorious Scottish army, as they should. Meanwhile, I'm just burning the city down, and the market, and uh, basically everything here. Because my archers are awesome. They're surely not as good as real grenadiers when the barracks had fully upgraded the efficiency, but they sure are a, a hell of a lot better in battle.
Apparently I am insane. Is shouting something in German. And I'm not really interested in seeing that. But I'm a reply anyway. And a big battle is going on between Furio, Colorfit, Arti and apparently a mixture of everyone else. But only Arti is going in and that's a massacre for him. And partially for Color and Furio as well, because they have lost their fodder and are starting to lose musketeers. Yet they have the more advantageous position and Color for is going in with the Hussars. Which is giving him another nice little advantage in the battle. And this is... this battle has been won. I don't know why Enfurio started to make mercenary infantrymen and I don't really see, a re see any reason why he would do that but uh, it's his choice, I'm not going to argue about that and uh, it's, it's just that mercenary ranches are in almost every case better except in the attack which the attack of the mercenary infantrymen and ranches is only of of use when you play one versus one on short peace times otherwise it's just useless and you won't need it at all Scottish work is best done by Scotsmen, so I am defensively engaging with I am insane and his ally, I suppose that's others total, I don't really know, and I don't really care at this moment either because I'm in the middle of the fight and the enemy hussars are inside of me, it doesn't really disturb me since my musketeers are just, are just shooting at them in a kind of melee fight. As long as my archers are surviving the battle and they are, and they are, it's all okay, at least for now. Apparently, Call of it thinks that I don't need this, that I am in need for help. He is definitely wrong, though. The enemy is in need of help because he's only got trash units left, fodder units, which are not really going to put up a lot of the fight against my archers and musketeers. And I've won. Just like that. Apparently I didn't need I didn't need Call of its help. Or Falk's help. Which is okay because Falk could actually destroy others totals flanking force. Which could have made quite a huge a huge difference in this battle. If they would have just smashed me from behind, then I wouldn't have survived. Of course I did survive earlier, but only because Falk did help me. In a number of ways, I mean he in the first place he did only walk around, but then he actually sh shot back. And I think that was, that was also a good help, because he was actually the main force that drove away the southern troops. While my force was kind of fighting everything at the same time, destroying the, mo the northern force, but... Well... It wouldn't have survived in an engagement with all at once. It was a quite interesting battle. We had some... Quite a few of... Uh, stalemates that have been going on but they have been dissolved quite quickly like like uh, salt and water or was it sugar and water 
I'm not really sure what it is, and I'm not really caring about it either. All I know that it was, it just was quite interesting for me. And I hope it was interesting for you too. And Aristotle is already talking about a comeback, which I do doubt, honestly. It would be quite hilarious if he did that, but uh, I don't think so. And the enemy is attacking us. What a fool. But at least it's honorable death. Dying to tons of arrows and muskets from the Scottish Weed Alliance. Which color it wasn't actually here. So that was uh, the honor for the Scottish and the, uh, and the Netherlands. Englishmen don't have honor anyway. Therefore it's quite okay. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Mm, you could leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed it. If don't, then not. It's not really uh, bad. Anyway, this wraps up the battle for today. As I said, you can write your opinion in the comments if you want or not. <laughs> I, I, I'd also answer some of your questions if you have any questions, but... Uh, that would be quite obvious. Anyway, see you in the next battle. If you'd like to hear me again, just say it. Otherwise, I'll certainly see you in the weekend. Bye bye.